What is up YouTube? I'm at the KTM showroom and I'm gonna give you a test ride review of the new Duke 390. Let's start. Oh, ready to race. Nice. Okay, uh, let me just heat the bike up a bit and until then let's see how it feels. Alright, uh, a week or two ago I, I did the review on the uh, two Duke 250 and uh, the seating position is the same. So let's just fiddle around with the settings a bit. Wow, I have no idea what all these do. Anyways, so let's get back to doing the... Oh wow, the clutch is really light guys. Okay, you're gonna feel really compact on this thing. Uh, I just went... Whoa! <laughs> Damn it! Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. That was a real shocker. <laughs> I did not see that coming. I thought I'd be used to the torque by now with, you know, the Himalayans being 30, uh, 30 into 2, but... I don't know what that five newton meters extra does, but like, goodness, that is some serious torque. Okay, I don't want to hit that Scorpio. That's the last thing I want to do. Okay, so, um, <laughs> guys, power, like I said, uh, torque is immense, man. Like, this thing is a torque monster for its, you know, segment. Uh, this thing lugs. All right, so I'm on second gear. Oh man, I really like how the instrument cluster like looks. It looks so neat and tidy and you know, it's like you have a tablet right in front of you that's there to tell you whatever you need to know anyways. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to turn off the ABS and stuff like that, so that's kind of a bummer. Mm. All right, okay, I can feel this thing vibrate a lot. I mean, just from 4000 you can feel it. Okay, let me just... Wow! <laughs> I am not faking this, guys. This is immense torque. I can't. I feel like I can't handle this sometimes. Uh, this is one of the reasons I didn't buy a Duke 390, the first. Uh, I mean, 2016 model. It's because of the torque, man. You have 37 newton meters of torque that is available to you with no limits. Damn. Uh, let's try fiddling with the settings. And 
Uh, you have 43.5 horsepower on this thing, which is like really, really like sufficient. Like I think too much for Nepal's traffic. Uh, now you have the adjustable levers. Got the handguard, and I can already feel things heating up. Okay. Okay, the buzzing on the foot peg is a little annoying, but you know, when you have power like this, you don't really care. Alright, uh, something I don't usually take into account is the throttle response. Most of the time, I'm like really bad, I can't really tell the difference. I, most of the time, it's just like I pull and then throttle res that's your throttle response as long as it moves forward. But, whoa, what the hell? I'm, let me try checking it out. Okay, I think now I know what throttle response actually feels like. This is like the slightest twitch of your, the slightest twitch in your wrist, you can, this thing responds immediately. And that's a good thing, people. That's a very good thing. Of course, you know that. Ah, oh, man. Like, this has intense power. I just, it's so sad that I don't really have much places that I can actually test this. Okay, let me try taking a little detour from here. Whoa, okay. Now we have some open roads that I can try. All right, now you have the Medzilla tires, which so far is confidence inspiring. Although this is uh, a little bit uh, level down of the Medzillas compared to the old Duke 390s. So you're not gonna have as, uh, you know, grippy tires as you had in the previous one. And uh, I'm gonna shut up for now and just let the power do all the talk. Yeah! Woo! Okay, this thing has a limiter on. Oh my goodness. Whoa. And ABS works real? Ah oh man, the brakes are really good, man. I did not, I did not see how fast I was going. Damn, I should have checked that out. And cornering, not bad. Okay, horn also not bad. The front disc brake is 320mm and a four piston radially fixed caliper. So usually you have like single, uh, single piston or dual piston caliper. So this thing has some serious braking power. Yeah, stops really well, man. And this is something you can really appreciate. Okay, I'm going, I'm surprised to be going like around 30 kilometers per hour on a Duke 390. Because this monster, this little monster hits like 60 in three, three seconds, which is like seriously, seriously fast for the bikes that are out here. I know there are like all these R1s and like, you know, four cylinder bikes, V4s and all that stuff, the thousand CCs, but <laughs> this thing is so damn punchy so fast it's like a freaking hooligan bike which is like <laughs> oh what the hell was that sound oh wow okay um here's something i have to say if you're a beginner who is just getting to learn how to ride a bike do not buy this bike for your own safety. You will have no problems whatsoever with, uh, you know, what the bike is altogether. But if you are inexperienced and do not know how to ride a bike, please don't buy this bike for your own safety, man. You will love the bike, don't worry. But for your own safety, don't. This is so damn powerful. Even I, like, I've had like four years of experience riding so far and this bike is just too much to handle. Uh, man, how I wish there was a racetrack in Nepal where I could test this thing out. And even in like uh, traffic, it's really nimble and easy to go around so you won't have so much trouble. Should I? Oh, okay, traffic's starting. So yeah, man, brakes are awesome. The pickup acceleration, I do not have to tell you anything. I mean, I thought I would get used to the pickup. Uh, I thought I would get used to the pickup by now, but like, <laughs> nope, nope. The moment 
you hit that uh, I don't know almost 4,000 okay the radiator fan kicks in mm. I don't know what was I talking about just a while ago okay guys in my conclusion I will right now I'm heading back to the showroom for city use yes definitely like you can really you know weave around traffic on this bike like it's 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 practically like duke 250 with a very punchy engine and a really nice lcd screen in front of you so one issue might be a mileage for your daily use but you know with this kind of performance uh, you shouldn't expect mileage good mileage on this i will take one more round just for the sake of it go 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 where is that guy coming out from I wish I knew how to do a wheelie. I swear I wish I knew how to do a wheelie because uh, that would be so nice. Oh look, a Himalayan. Anyways, uh, let me just put this bike back. Now, I think I <laughs> took the bike a little longer than I'm welcome, more than I'm welcome to. But you know, hopefully, hopefully I got just enough uh, to show you guys how the bike is. And uh, we put it here. So yeah, when you turn off the kill switch, it, so, it shows kill switch. I don't think you can turn it on. Now. <laughs> okay, it's turned back on. Let me just put this down. Yeah, it even tells you there's a side stand. Let's see how accurate this is. I pull it. Okay. This side stand thing is very accurate. Okay guys, now we have the walk around. First of all, I'd have to say the seat and all that stuff is exactly the same as the Duke 250. Uh, pretty soft compared to the old ones, but you know, uh, not ideal for touring. Uh, not exactly ideal for touring. Uh, something different from the last one is you have these buttons where you can, you know, where you saw me struggling a bit to show you what's what. And I'm not sure exactly how it works. Ah, ABS. Damn, you have settings and all that stuff. Anyways, so you have all the basic features on this thing. And um, yeah, this time you have like ABS, you know, you can always tell by those tiny little rings that are around here. And uh, the brakes, the front brakes are 320, uh, four piston radially, ca uh, radially mounted, ca four piston calipers, sorry. and the back here is a 230, 230 single piston caliper. Uh, exhaust note is pretty much the same. This does vib vibrate a little more than the, little more than the uh, Duke 250, but uh, that's what you get for having a really high compression bike that is also uh, kind of large for no, for a single cylinder. Uh, 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 this uh, you also have like adjustable adjustable levers both sides and oh uh, yeah that's about it so my conclusion on this bike <laughs> definitely worth your money man if you are into all this sport riding being a hooligan and all that stuff not that i encourage it but for those reasons this bike is just so damn good you will definitely you will definitely like love this bike for that purpose now anyways what i have to say about the duke 390 is double thumbs up man really awesome bike anyways so guys uh, if you like this video give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe to my channel i'll be bringing a video every wednesday put your comments in the f uh, uh, put your comments down below and let me know what you think anyways i'm swansimoto and i'm out